In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down a horizontal stretch that I think is very, very effective in Madden 21 to be able to basically deal with a lot of the coverages that you're going to see, a lot of the pressures and things like that. So we're gonna dive right in. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my, my name is Cody and my channel is all about helping people become better both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball in Madden 21. We release new videos every single day to help you accomplish that. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I wanna encourage you right now to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it allows you to be able to know what is going on at our channel and the latest updates as far as videos. Now, if you want YouTube to let you know whenever we release a new video, I wanna encourage you to turn on your notifications. All you gotta do is hit that little notification notification icon little bell icon right next to your subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen and that will let you know whenever we release new videos all right guys so i'm talking about a little bit of gun bunch today um, we're gonna be breaking down a concept that i really really like out of the play smash return i think smash return is probably my favorite quickly becoming one of my favorite passing concepts uh, from the gun bunch just with all of the different things that it can do um, and this is going to be a very nice little stretch that is going to do a really good job of stretching the defense both horizontally and vertically so i'm excited to dive into this but before we do i want to encourage you to go ahead and check out my gun bunch offensive ebook we actually just released the ebook a couple weeks ago and it's a complete guide to the gun bunch it's literally a guide on everything gun bunch related and so if you have not already picked up the ebook book it's just 15 bucks for the gun bunch out of the jets playbook and we also just updated it with a one hour video on trips tight end offset as well um, so we gave it a little bit of an update if you want to get the whole jets bundle guide it has trips tight end offset bunch tight end and bunch it's one of the best offenses right now in the community so if you haven't picked it up yet again it's just 15 bucks and it's in the description there's a link to both the bunch tight end the bunch and then there's also a link to the uh, combo of all three of those formations as well for you so if you want to get those videos or those strategy guides those are in the description it's a complete ebook with write-ups and setups and everything that you will need to be successful in this game so now we're going to talk about this play smash return so first and foremost we have to have if you're running if you're going to run gun bunch for any length of time you have to have a plan for how you are going to attack something like a maple coverage and we're going to break down exactly how we plan to do that so all we're going to do as far as the setup goes is we're going to put the square or the solo receiver in the gun bunch on a curl route a, a curl route and the reason why is because with the with the lack of one step aheads right now in the community curl routes i think are one of the most underrated routes most people are not using them anymore but they are so effective they are so effective you need to be using curl routes so we're going to talk about why in this video but we're going to put the running back if we if we were in mutt and we had the ability to put him on a little table route that's what we would go with but since we're in regs we're going to go ahead and put him on a swing route but again if you can put him on a flat route that's even better the next and then lastly we're just going to put the r1 receiver on a streak you could also put him on a fade i've seen good results with both uh the fade might be a little bit better against cover three and the streak might be a little bit better against cover two and then the last little step we're going to do is we're going to motion the circle receiver to the right and we're going to snap him just before he step sets his feet against this coverage and first and foremost what i want to hit on is i want to hit on this specific route to the um i want to hit on this specific route to the curl route okay and the reason why is because this is the ultimate check down this is the ultimate check down if, especially if you have a table route it the swing route does cause in my opinion it does cause a little bit of issue because they don't always go to him but we'll see like right there that's what we're opening up we're opening up that throwing lane now, if you think about Gun Bunch and you think about the path of it that a user is going to take, they're almost always going to do something like this. They're going to run at the flood and then they're going to try to jump back into this area of the field. They cannot possibly get all the way over here, but I cannot tell you how many interceptions I've thrown in this area because they can use her back onto it. With this strategy right here, their user is not going to be able to play it. They're gonna be easily um, 
you know, they're going to get stuck on something over on the right side. Or they're going to be sitting in the middle with nobody to guard, okay? And that's more likely what's going to happen. But what you'll see here, again, we just want to make sure that we're curling that receiver. And if you just watch here, you're going to be able to inside pass lead it. And I wouldn't low ball it unless you're like in a man cover situation. Now, let me show you this against man to man. So let's say that you're playing someone that's running man to man coverage. Well, again, remember, there's no one step ahead or there's very little opportunity for people to run one step ahead. So if I just low ball it, as you can see, even against uh, if I run the in route, the in route will work as well. But also with the curl, the same is, the same thing is true. So let me show you a little bit of man coverage here. We're shading inside and underneath. And if they do run man coverage on you, you have two really nice reads. First and foremost, you've got your low ball right there. Because they don't have one step ahead, they can't get in front of the curl anymore like they were able to when they had one step ahead. So it's going to be difficult for people to throw uh, or really to take care of curl routes. I think curl routes are probably the most underrated thing that got a lot better post patch the next thing that you have if they run man-to-man -man coverage is this route to your circle receiver um, this route to your circle receiver will get open as long as he has good route running in mutt this is pretty much a guaranteed dot in regs um if you match up like you see right here you know i'm matched up with jair alexander jair alexander has a little bit better man coverage than table and austin has route running so you know it's not always going to work but as you see right there i mean it's abs i mean right there it absolutely works against man to man and so against man to man you're going to be able to have a pretty nice little opportunity to be able to really throw some easy reads okay so now what i want to do is i want to talk a little bit briefly here about zone coverage and again what they're going to do to try to stop you so first and foremost i cannot stress you how important it is to get good at throwing the route to the the curl route if you can get good at throwing that curl route it opens everything else up in this play let's say for example they have a lack of hard flats if they don't have hard flats you can throw um you can throw this little quick out as soon as he cuts so for example let's say that they Let's say that they go to cover four, okay? And let's just say, for example, they don't, they just, you know, they don't have hard flats. For whatever reason, they're gonna play with one flat on that side, okay? Let's just say that they do that on this play. Watch the circle receiver. If I see that there's nobody out in that grass area, I can throw that uh, on that first initial cut and I can hit that as a quick read against the coverage. Now, the cool part about this is this also does a really, really good job if the hard flat is coming from the linebacker. So you'll see like in this situation, the underneath zone is coming from the linebacker. The linebacker is gonna have a little bit of a tricky time at getting out there. So if you can throw this quick enough, you can hit that route all day long. It's basically an out route. As long as you throw it as soon as he cuts, you do have to anticipate this a little bit, but as long as you throw this as soon as he cuts to the outside, you're gonna find that you're gonna have a lot of success. So this is really good for like pressure situations. You need to get the ball out there quick. Now right there, you noticed if the slot corner is the one that goes out there, it's not as open. If the slot corner is the one that goes out there, it is not as open. But if the slot corner is the one that goes out there, you can almost guarantee that this tight end route is gonna be open. So you see that slot, oh, he dropped down, okay. Step up in the pocket, and as you can see right here, this route to Robert Tunyon is absolutely wide open. That corner route to that tight end, in my personal opinion, at least at this point in the season, is the best corner route in the game. Okay, it is the best corner out in the game. This is just my personal opinion. Now, what if they run cover two? Okay, you might be saying, well, what if they run cover two? This would be a good play to run cover two against. Well, again, what you'll see here, you can low ball that little corner route early against the cover two. As you can see right there, it low balls really, really nicely, especially if you have that gunslinger ability. The next thing I want to show you, though, is let's say that they're running that cover two. Okay, so if you watch, watch that X receiver, you see here that I can basically pass lead him to the right underneath the 25 yard curl or uh, cloud flat out there. So I can pass lead him open against pretty much any single coverage that they can do in this game. That corner route, that's what makes that corner route so good. You can pass lead him open against cover two or whatever it might be. Now on this backside, real quick here, you'll take a look here. You see we can pop this little route to the square receiver. The curl flat concept is going to be open, okay? What they have to do is they have to play default zones to be able to stop that, um, to be able to stop that specific route, okay? So they have to, they have to do a lot to stop both sides of this formation. You see here maybe something like this little Mabel coverage. 
Well, the beauty of this is if they start over adjusting, because they have to stat, they have to throw something in the deep middle as well, because that slot streak could get them against cover two. So, like, let me show you what I'm talking about. So, like, let's say it's cover two, right? I want you to watch. This is where that streak would come in handy. If you've been seeing a lot of cover two, then you can basically you just want to inside pass lead that. As you can see, it's a wide open laser against that coverage. They're going to have to go user that more than likely they're not going to want to because they're going to want to jump back onto that curl route um, because you've been hitting the curl route as a layup, layup, layup. So then what they're going to do is they're going to have to do this adjustment right here where they're going to have this deep blue. And then you're going to see here that they're going to probably do something to this effect right here on this back side. So you see something like this coverage. And now what's going to happen is it's going to open up the entire underneath middle of the field for you to be able to hit this circle receiver late. So you see right there, he comes right in between the zones and he's wide open for about 15 to 20 yards so that's what makes this play so powerful this is a play that i think is very underrated most people don't use that circle route like they should in my opinion but i would recommend for you to try it out i think you're going to find a lot of success with that circle route it basically serves two purposes it's a flat route but it's also a little underneath check down in case the zones pull to the outside so you're not only stretching them horizontally but you're also stretching them right in the middle of the field right in the bread and butter of the defense it's very difficult to stop this because it's one of those concepts that literally will use the entire field okay the entire field so thanks for watching this video if you want to learn more about the gun bunch you want to get the entire ebook if you want to learn the entire offense i want to encourage you to go ahead and pick up the ebook it's literally just 15 dollars. it will break down every single thing that you need to know every single uh defense in the game and how to beat it and show you different routes and just the power of the gun bunch so thanks for your time i really appreciate it and i hope you enjoyed the video and one more time if you want to get that full gun bunch ebook it is in the description of this video